Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atapekov. I am a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are talking about the next medical medicinal mushroom called uh, turkey's tail or Trematus versicolor or Coriolus. We will talk about the contents, uh, contents of this mushroom. We will talk about the uh, available preclinical studies and uh, the studies on humans. We will talk about what diseases it can be used for, what are the side effects and contraindications. So, let's get started. Trametus vesicolor or turkey's tail was used uh, in Eastern medicine for centuries. It contains uh, proteins, fats, carbs, contains minerals, vitamins, but also some unique substances that mycelium produces uh, during its uh, life cycle. For example, bioflavonoids, triterpenoids, polysaccharopeptides. By the way, polysaccharopeptide, PSP and PSK, are the substances that are usually used for um, extraction and uh, that you can buy in capsules. But I prefer taking the whole mushroom because it's more natural, it has all the substances uh, needed in complex. And we really already know that, for example, this uh, mushroom components can uh, prevent tumor formation. For example, we take mice, we add cancerogens, uh, they develop tumor. But we take the same mice, we add these components of uh, traumatis and uh, add cancerogen, but no tumor is formed. So it's a protective effect. Also, it enhances the immunity. We know many cancer patients have some problems with immunity. Uh, otherwise, the immunity would find the tumor and never uh, give it a chance to develop. That's why it's important to work with immunity in cancer patients. Also, we know that, for example, polysaccharopeptides of traumatis, they can enhance the action of some chemotherapy drugs and decrease their side effects. For, exa for example, uh, cyclophosphamide, which is often used uh, for mm, breast cancer. And also it can help uh, to, again, enhance immunity in cancer patients. It can help with uh, improving their quality of life. For example, they have fatigue, uh, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, pain. Uh, this mushroom can help those patients. And really, there are plenty of studies, uh, preclinical, on cancer cells or on animals with uh, different tumors. Uh, you can see this is the table with direct uh, killing of cancer cells. You see all these are investigations on different tumor types uh, from breast cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer, colon, uh, kidney, uh, liver cancer, lymphoma, leukemia, etc. Melanoma, gliomas, uh, neural uh, system tumors. These are already on uh, animals, the same direct killing of the tumors. Next, I told you that this mushroom works on immune system. That is very important because in cancer patients there is some lack of immune response. Otherwise, the immunity would find this tumor and kill it. That's why it's very important to work also with uh, improvement of immunity in these patients. And you can see that it really can improve the immunity. These are all also studies about the immunity and also on animals, the same. And this is a table with uh, preclinical studies. You see a lot of different tumors and you see that it really helps to shrink the tumor to decrease their growth. And some just use uh, traumatis, some use, for example, and compare it with chemotherapy drugs like 5-fluorouracil. And uh, we know that there, are, there is a direct action, a toxicity to the tumor from uh, the uh, Coriolis versicolor. It's like uh, arrest of uh, division and growth and uh, metastasis and it uh, increases uh, sensitivity to chemotherapy or it uh, induces self-killing or apoptosis or uh, second is immunostimulation, so indirect effect. For me, uh, immunostimulation is more important and it's the main action of medicinal mushrooms. And these are on cancer patients, for example, advanced cancer, when the patient is already very weak and uh, there is a lot of humor everywhere, a lot of metastasis, 
and uh, he cannot survive any chemotherapy. They gave him mushroom and they saw that, oh, really, it improved their quality of life, their survival, and it really helped to shrink tumor a lot. Just only mushroom. Or it can be combined with chemotherapy to improve uh, their um, effectiveness, to shrink the tumor more. And there is a meta-analysis, a big analysis of many clinical trials on cancer patients that really showed that there is improvement of five-year survival of these patients if we add this mushroom. And this is the next topic, is liver, uh, liver diseases. And uh, you can see that it really can prevent liver damage, it can help restore liver, and it can protect liver from different toxins and cancerogens. And you see there is a plenty of different studies on humans with hepatitis, viral hepatitis with cirrhosis, and we can see that it really can help to restore liver. It is more effective uh, than, for example, interferon to treat uh, viral infection. And, for example, the patient with viral hepatitis, she's, he is getting the official antiviral therapy, and if we add the mushroom, then it will uh, help to improve the effectiveness and increase the chance of uh, being free of virus, like 60 against 80%. 20% difference if we add the mushroom, so it's quite good. Also, in, for example, drug hepatitis, when some drugs, toxins, come and damage the liver, it can help to uh, restore the liver function. Next, uh, the patients who have problems with cholesterol and uh, uh, so-called bad cholesterol and triglycerides. And we can see the difference here, 6.8, 4.1, for example, uh, in cholesterol, total cholesterol, in triglycerides, meaning it decreases uh, total cholesterol, it decreases triglycerides, it decreases, uh, decreases uh, bad cholesterol and it increases good cholesterol. And by the way, it was more effective than berberin in decreasing triglycerides. So also very promising in this field. It can reduce sputum, cough, phlegm, uh, the dyspnea, shortness of breath in chronic bronchitis patients. Uh, together, uh, 149 patients with chronic bronchitis a real, really good improvement of symptoms. Also, uh, pay attention to the other mushroom reishi. I also have video about it. It is also helpful with chronic bronchitis, with all this uh, sputum, with allergic components, especially if the patient has asthma uh, or allergies. Uh, please pay attention to reishi mushroom. Next, anti-aging, because it's a uh, a good antioxidant, it neutralizes free radicals, free radicals don't damage our tissues, our organs, it decreases the formation of wrinkles, it decreases the uh, risk of chronic diseases, for example, atherosclerosis or uh, diabetes mellitus, or it can improve learning and memory, uh, for example, without stress, people learn quite well, with stress they cannot pay attention, their learning uh, ability drops uh, almost two times, and when we add again trameters, it uh, restores to normal even during stress. And ulcers, gastric ulcers, stomach ulcers, or duodenal ulcers, it can help to protect from them, it can uh, help to heal them. About toxicity, uh, their mice were fed with this mushroom, about 20 grams per kilo, and uh, if you think about the human, it will be 1.5 kilo of mushroom, a lot, and nothing happened, no mice were dead, and also it was uh, checked on rats and monkeys, uh, the doses were 200 times higher than usually humans take, and still no side effects. And there are other studies about antiviral actions, you can watch about it in more details in the other video, I will leave the, uh, the link in this description below. You can see that uh, the uh, Traminters with Reishi were very effective, destroying, killing the uh, human papilloma virus. Especially it is dangerous if there are high onco-risk types like 16, 18, 31, 33 and others that can cause oral cancer, for example, laryngeal, pharyngeal cancer. This is the study with people who were 
having the inflammation in their gums uh, due to this virus and it was really effective to get rid of it and the other one is uh, for women who had their cervical uh, erosion cervical problems inflammation because of this uh, human papilloma virus it's also precancerous because they can have cervical cancer in future here they used the vaginal gel containing trametus you can see the difference between if they use trametus or not using trametus and not only uh, papilloma virus or viral hepatitis also for example for uh, herpes virus that causes uh, their blisters on the lips uh, it also can help with this infection so dear friends according to the information that i told you before uh, we can do some conclusions that trametus versicolor or turkey's tail may be effective in patients having oncological problems having uh, liver diseases including viral hepatitis uh, elevated cholesterol and triglycerides chronic bronchitis many viral infections especially chronic viruses and it can also protect stomach have anti-ulcer effect it can improve memory and cognition and it can improve quality of life if you have any experience using this mushroom please share it in the comment section i wish you good luck god bless you goodbye